Hi, I'm Kyle, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you can expect from a Vampire Survivors tutorial series on YouTube. Even though Vampire Survivors looks like a simple game, making it is no easy feat. This is because the game has hundreds of different weapons, enemy types, power-ups, buffs, stat modifiers, and maps, giving rise to hundreds of thousands of possible scenarios, combinations, and strategies. With so many possibilities, it is very easy for the game to end up a buggy mess. I'm sure you know of some AAA games that have ended up like that. Hence, we're going to be crafting our codes for the game in a systematic and modular manner. This will help us create a code base that is stable and won't bug out when a lot of content is added to it. You will find that the first 12 parts of this series focuses less on creating these systems and more on familiarizing you with what Unity can do first by coding the various mechanics of Dapper Survivors in a more basic manner. From Lesson 13 onwards, as you become more familiar with coding, we will begin to create the various features in a more systematic manner, such as a fully featured weapon system that will allow you to create and evolve any weapon in Vampire Survivors as well as create any unique weapon you can imagine. A stat tracking system with buffs and debuffs so that you can afflict the characters in game with terrible status effects like burn, freeze, or poison. A feature packed enemy spawning system that will empower you to create any kind of mob you can imagine, including the infamous flower wall. If you'd like to see the end product of our tutorials, you could also check out the itch.io link to our prototype in the video description below. So, if you're ready to create your own roguelike bullet hell game, hop into the next video and let's get started.